We're being asked to wear masks these days. Of course, it's the rule of thumb here in Jacksonville now, and it's all to stop the spread of coronavirus. And some people are being shamed for wearing masks, and others for not wearing them. The rise of mask shaming reveals the tricky science of social change. Valerie Sokolowski, an etiquette expert and author of eight books on leadership image and business etiquette, including Do It Right, the new book of business etiquette, joins us here on The Morning Show. Good morning. Well, good morning to you, sir. How are you in Jacksonville? Doing great. So you've got the mask police out there these days, and it's causing problems. If you're in a place that requires masks and see someone not wearing one, should you call them out? Well, you know, let's look at it in a little different light, Bruce. We live in USA, right? Well, the US stands for us, A for Americans. This is about us as Americans. And to me, it's all about us and not you. So some people are being compliant and rightly so. This is a situation that is not going to go away for a while. It is a life and death situation. It is real. And so when you're with someone or around someone that isn't wearing a mask, you never know their story. However, what I would say is I'm wondering if they're just not wanting to be compliant, maybe they're being a little defiant, like I'm not going to be told what to do. And if it is that kind of a situation, it does no good for you to say anything because those may be the same people, frankly, that are defiant in all other aspects of their life, like texting while driving. Oh my gosh, that's happening everywhere. Speeding, that's happening all the time. So it doesn't do any good. You're only going to get a defiant answer and that doesn't help any way. Anyone, walk away, get away. So that answers my next question. You don't necessarily have a right to deputize yourself. No, you don't. This is about the individuals. And if you're an individual who cares about being in this to win it, then you'll do everything you can to comply and to help all of us win it. This is not a time to get angry or frustrated or say, well, don't tell me what to do. We're Americans. We've got to get together on this. Look at all the other defiance that's going on, Bruce, in our country. What good is it doing? Nothing. It's only making people angry. It's getting people frustrated. There's fear out there. So I would just say to individuals, the name of my podcast, by the way, is called Doing It Right. I would just say, do it right. And if you can't do it right, stay home. And, you know, sometimes you put yourself at risk. We had an incident where there was a woman who was filming somebody who was berating somebody else at a Pier 1 at the St. John's Town Center, which is a, a shopping center here in town. And this woman comes up and literally coughs on her. So we don't know if she exposed her perhaps to COVID-19 or not. And it just proves that shaming doesn't work. I don't think shaming works in any walk of life. You know, just get real. This is... This is just a situation no one has ever been in before. None of us thought we would be in it. But the reality is we are. And so, again, do it right or stay home. I mean, that's the message. What else can we do? You know, th this whole fight against COVID-19 has become a, a political one. And, and masks is no different. It's a political hot potato, too. It is a hot potato. And I think that's the other thing, Bruce. People are trying to make it a political situation. But people are trying, mass, I mean, are trying to make everything a political situation. And it's just not. It's not. It's about health. It's about life. It's about death. The reality is we don't know if we have COVID. So you can say all day long, well, I'm okay. I've been tested. Well, that doesn't mean tomorrow you could get it. So even the masking kind of a situation where you say, well, I've been tested, that doesn't matter either. We don't know what this strain is about. So do everything you can as individuals to pay attention. Look what happened when we were in stage two and people just said, ah, oh, well, a group of kids went to a graduation party at a beach Somebody came home, gave it to their mom and dad, and the mom and dad are now on ventilators. So really? Yeah, see, but how, how do you gently say to somebody, look, you know, it's, it's, it's not about me. It's, you know, it's about my, my kid. It's about my wife. It's about my senior citizen, 
you know, mom and dad or, or grandparent. Is there a gentle way to approach it? If you're in a conversation with someone and like a group of friends, I think it's perfectly all right to say that because that's the truth. Bruce, as long as you're standing for what's right and the truth, then you'll be okay. If they want to argue back, forget the conversation. Just say, well, that's my thought. Sometimes, yeah, you just have to walk away. Donnery, thanks. We'll be right back.